Hello, we are glad to present you the XVENGE integration with Crowdin, a cloud-based localization platform. This new integration is supported by XVENGE version 3, build 1491 or later. XVENGE is accessible from the top right corner of your Chrome browser. You need to install this Chrome extension from xvenge.net. Once you have it, you will see the Xvenge icon on the top right of the window, so that you can easily call Xvenge from the current crowding file or from the current target language of a given project, in this case, English. This is a crowding translation project consisting of three files, which are already translated. If we call Xvenge from this view, it will load the whole project. As you can see now in the Project Properties window, the project file has been loaded as ongoing translation, ready for a QA. We can also do searches if we want to. For example, Proyecto or Demostración. Xbench shows the source and target strings and the corresponding details, file name and so on. If we want to perform a QA check, we should go to the QA tab, select any appropriate options, and then press the Check Ongoing Translation button. The Xbench spell checker has found one misspelling, which we are going to add to this misspelling list, and then in the next screen we can see several other errors. Look at how we can easily go to that specific crowding segment from Xbench. Right-click and Edit Segment. It will take us right where the correction is needed. We make the necessary changes and proceed with the next QA error. This is a numeric mismatch that needs to be fixed. Again, Edit Segment, Correction, and Validation. This repeated word needs to be removed. We repeat the same operation. Finally, we will correct the misspelling we have previously identified. After a first QA run, we can make sure that there are no issues left by doing a QA regression. To do that, we need to refresh the crowding contents on Xbench by clicking again on the Xbench icon in our browser. We go to the QA tab and click on Check Ongoing Translation. As you can see, there are no more errors to fix. Last but not least, remember to have this Google Chrome option enabled. Always open files of this type. It allows Xbench to open up directly from Chrome. Also, in order to avoid having multiple tabs opened each time you edit segment from Xbench, make sure you have the one tab extension installed. It is available in the download section of xbench.net. We hope you enjoyed this new integration with Crowdin. See you soon.